Welcome back, people, on tonight. My name is Tyler. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to import a limited cache geo that has multiple UV sets. So, first up, uh, in this case, with this model, this model has multiple UV sets, which is a problem with a limit cache, as typically with it, you're going to combine all the geometry into one piece, and so it's going to override certain uh, UV sets, and then the object's not going to have UVs. So, what we need to do is we need to figure out which uh, UV set has the UVs on it and just switch them on for those. So in these cases, sometimes you can have multiple, um, in, in my cases with some of the models, but for this one, it's only two of them. So now that we have these, uh, for this example, I'm only going to do these three pieces just for uh, time's sake. So we have this on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to map one and we're just going to uh, delete this and here we go here's the problem already so in this case this is the default uv set so we can't delete it so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to this uv map and we're going to copy the uvs to map one so now we're going to go back to the uv map we're just going to delete it so now this only has one set we're going to do the same thing for the shoulder as you can see map one doesn't have anything we're going to the uvs we're going to copy over there okay so we're going to go back to this one delete it and to this last one here, UVs, we're going, map one doesn't have them. So we're going to copy these to map one. And then we're going to go to UV map and delete. And in this case, the naming scene sometimes get flipped around. So we're actually just going to go back to map one. We're going to delete. So now all of these should have one existing UV. So, uh, you know, let's try combining it. And so we're getting some issues here. This one still, the UVs aren't showing up. Now, from what I found out, the UV sets, they are based on names. And so if they're different names, they're gonna override one another. So what you need to do is you go into rename current UV uh, name. And in this case, this is already defaulted to UV channel one. All we're gonna do is just hit apply. So now we go back to UVs. This is correct. So I'm gonna go to this one, we're gonna hit rename apply go to this part rename and apply so now all three of these should have the same uv name and if we combine them as you can see all the uvs are correct and uh, showing up so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next video